This demonstration was put together in response to a question posted on the ALICE Facebook page on how to create a breeze effect for a scene. So in this scene, I have a bunch of different plants and they are the objects that I'm going to get to uh, move back and forth or sway in the breeze. We're going to do this first of all by creating a method called sway that I am going to build for the prop class because I have a lot of different objects, plant objects, that um, are not the same type, but they are all props. And so I go to the class menu, I select prop, and add prop procedure. I name the procedure sway. I'm now going to create two variables of decimal numbers, give them names, write roll value, and just give it a placeholder value. And I'm going to have it create a random value between point zero five negative point zero five and a positive point zero five. If I roll to the right in a negative five direction, it's going to roll to the left. All right. If I roll to the right in a five point zero five direction, it'll roll to the right. I'm also going to create a forward turn variable. which is also a decimal number with a placeholder value and also have it generate a random number in the range point zero five negative point zero five positive I'm now going to create a do together statement in which I'm going to have the plant roll to the right in a right roll direction with an abruptly animation style and I'm going to accept the default timing of one second and I'm also going to turn the object forward, the forward turn value beginning and ending abruptly. And what this will do together is this will combine a turn and a roll in such a way that the plant will move in some random direction. But I need to also bring it back. And so I'm going to drag it down holding down uh, the control key or the option key in the Mac to copy it and change the right to left and change the forward to backward but then I'm also going to double this right roll by going math times 2 and math times 2 because that a sway there's a there's an action and a reaction and then I will recenter it by just copying this back down again so that is my my roll method um, or my sway method for an object I can test this if I go to my first method and select one of the plants from the prop class and I'm just going to say take a bamboo cluster and tell it to sway and I'm going to put it inside of a while loop at this point so we can watch it go back and forth click on run and so we see that we get something one of the limitations is that um, the plants and trees do not have subparts and so it's really hard to get them to to, to bend realistically uh, 
uh, and so all the turning happens from from the base sometimes good enough just has to be good enough now what I want to do on the scene is create a new property which is going to be an array of props I'm going to call it plants and I'm going to build a custom array of all of the plants. I'm not going to sway the tree. We'll just work on uh, uh, the plants. Two, three, bamboo cluster. So essentially we're just going to sway all the bamboos and, and assume that the the a tree doesn't have any, the, the breeze isn't strong enough to, to affect the tree. Click OK. So now I have an array of plants. So in my while true method, I want to replace it by, I want to delete swaying one plant, and I want to use the each in together method or uh, control structure. All right, and so the, the controlling variable for this control structure is going to be a prop, and it's going to use the array of plants. And I'm going to call this controlling variable plant. Click OK. And then each plant, I can select that variable now shows up. So I can say each plant is going, each plant in this in the array plants is going to sway together it's a it's a do together for an array structure click on ok all right and clearly i must have not, not added this cluster of bamboos to the um to my array uh, 